So the future of Fortnite is not going downhill whatsoever. The future of this game is going to skyrocket and let me explain. So this whole conversation started with this tweet. Who is the one person you wish you could ask one question to? Tag them here and ask it. Somebody added the CEO of Epic Games and said, Do you view Fortnite as a game or as a platform? He said, Fortnite is a game, but please ask that question again in 12 months. So with this in mind, I'm going to read you guys an article by Forbes, which goes more in depth with this, and it's going to explain everything. But I want you to let me know down below in the comment section personally, as of right now, do you think Fortnite is a dead game watching this video at this moment? I really want to know your thoughts on this. I would love to know, and I'm generally interested in what you guys think. With all that said, let's get right into the article. So it starts off by saying this, a while ago I said that Fortnite was turning into a sponsorship Super Smash Bros with all of its licensing deals adding in different famous characters into the game from superheroes, from guest stars, from other games like Borderlands. I was thinking too small. This month Fortnite had an event where they debuted a new Star Wars clip in game. The clip itself was not significant and it was kind of terrible. The big deal was the rest of it. The clip int was introduced by a TIE vs Falcon fight players were invited to attend. The clip was presented by JJ Abrams himself, complete with a custom avatar aka a skin. At the end, there was a message from Emperor Palpatine itself of such significance to the movie it was actually the opening crawl, and you could only hear it in Fortnite. Fortnite is building something here, something much much bigger than a battle royale game. So now let's go back to that tweet real quick. He said that Fortnite is just a game as of right now, but ask that question again in 12 months. So that means that Fortnite is playing something huge and something huge is going to happen. Let's get back to the article. It says this, call it the metaverse if you're a Snow Crash fan, aka a metaverse is a virtual reality space in which users can interact with a computer generated environment and other users. And then he said, call it an oasis if you're more into Ready Player One. But I fully believe that this is what Fortnite is building a shared virtual world where players and brands and IPs all collide and coexist in my rate of ways for playing games yes but also for everything the key distinction here is that this is not a virtual reality world not yet the metaverse and oasis both utilize ultra immersed VR aka virtual reality though VR does exist now it is not ready for the mass mainstream adoption so Fortnite's metaverse will just be a traditional experience on screen with perhaps VR to come further down the line after another decade or so in the oven. So there's a lot more of this, but let's recap real quick. So he's saying that Fortnite is going to become a VR game where you can actually become in the game with VR. You're going to be able to be in the game. I personally think that's a great idea, and I can't wait for that. Let's get right into what it says next. What I'm describing here is something akin to Second Life, the original virtual life simulator. But it was built on Epic's engine and using hundreds of millions of Fortnite players as a jumping off point. Not to mention the billions they've ranked in from Fortnite's massive success. You think they're just spending it all on servers and skin development? Obviously not, they keep refreshing skins. Observe any kid playing Fortnite, they'll reveal that the game already exists as a sort of interactive social network. A bit like Minecraft before it, yes, you play, but you are there to spend time with your friends also. Now, the corporate invasion of Fortnite is starting to distinctively remind me of Ready Player One, in which players can choose virtual avatars, aka skins, to walk around in that and are either original creations or existing properties, aka reskins, I think, kind of. In two years alone, Fortnite has already formed relationships with massive corporations for skins that we now have permanent fixtures in the game. To recap, in addition to all of the original skins, we have a Black Widow and Star-Lord from Marvel, John Wick, Hopper and the Demogorgon from Stranger Things, a Psycho from Borderlands, a wide range of NFL players in a licensed deal, Batman and Catwoman from DC, Rey, Finn, Kylo Ren, and all the other skins from Star Wars, you may get my point point here, if Fortnite can land names this big to become permanent parts of their universe, pretty much nothing should be off limits, and it probably won't be. I believe that Fortnite is moving towards something larger than a battle royale and save the world. I think that we are headed towards something like Planet Fortnite, where Epic builds an entire world in Unreal and the style of Fortnite and lets players simply exist there. 
build yourself a mansion, buy new clothes for further customization of existing avatars or skins, or buy more licensed ones, buy yourself a race car or spaceship, take it anywhere, hang out with your friends, explore secrets of the world. And yes, play games of course, I could also see Epic combining this idea with its own Epic Games store. In Ready Player One, players travel from different planets to play different games, maybe the Epic Store becomes an entirely virtual space where instead of just clicking a button while you're hanging out on planet Fortnite, you are bored on a rocket to take you to Pandora to start playing Borderlands. You get the idea. We are at a base, a base level of something like this. Epic has not announced anything like this yet and their bones are there. The skeleton taking shape if it remains invisible to people who aren't looking for it. I believe that Epic wants to own and run the biggest virtual space in gaming, and perhaps the entire internet. I mean, who wouldn't want that, to be honest? And it is not going to wait around for Hyper Immerse VR to do it. Epic is building its own metaverse, and I believe that we will see it come to life in the next few years. And at the latest, watch the skies. So, oh my gosh, there are so many things throughout this article that I want to go over, but I feel like everything already explained for itself, honestly. So let's read that tweet one more time. Fortnite is a game, but please ask that question again in 12 months. If you made it this far into the video, comment the letters VR so I know. I appreciate you so much. Drop a like on this video. Fortnite is not going anywhere. It is just beginning.